Hey folks, this is IOE through Armor back with some more Minecraft. This is Stoneblock, and I am slowly getting through this thing. Um, so you see, I've got some interesting things in my inventory. Also, there's no more sword. I've decided this axe is as good as a sword for what I need, and so the sword is back in the chest because I just... I need slots for building, not for fighting. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. Um, so yeah, I've been hard at work at this contraption um, and right now it's filled in with a bunch of glass blocks because I need placeholders while I was building it uh, to figure out where everything needed to be in order to get the pipes laid out right I'm not 100% certain the pipes are actually laid out correctly but I think they're as good as they're going to get um, the only way to make it better I think would be to either pull the entire thing out by one block uh, to lay, so lay it all here. Or to push this wall back by a block and then push all the pipes back by a block. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that or not. It depends on how much it fails slash works. But I'm pretty confident in this layout that it will do what I need to do. So the glass blocks are just representative of where the stuff is going to go right now. Um, it doesn't tell you what is going to go where though if I had colored glass I probably would have done that I've also laid in a piping system into the wall so that when we start grinding through the system um, stuff's just automatically going to start appearing where it needs to be so diamonds are just going to rack up in there all the emeralds uh, these these four things are going to slowly increase um, everything a bunch of stuff's going to start appearing here and so that's probably going to fill in all of these slots as well. Um, I don't remember what needs to be where, so I'm just, I'm just leaving a bunch of stuff open over here. And then this will just be like the catch-all spot. Uh, so random crap may appear in here that I end up having to take out again. But for now, this is the best system for just like grinding a ton of resources. Um... If you want to do your own configuration, if you if you decide to do this, that's perfectly fine. But basically, you want three sieves to one hammer, um, so, or to two hammers. Sorry, two auto hammer stations. So this is going to be an auto hammer station right here, and this is going to be an auto hammer station right here. And then that's obviously an auto sieve. This is going to be an auto sieve. And this is going to be an auto sieve. And that means that uh, stone's going to come into here. It's going to get immediately compacted or crushed, hammered, whatever. And normally two outputs come out of it. Um, I could just use... I'm fairly certain I'm going to start by using an auto hammer. Um, I might transfer over to using a pulverizer later on. Actually, you know what? I have a pulverizer here. There's no point in using all the resources again. So let's just cannibalize this. And we're definitely cannibalizing this. And Why not? I mean, it's not going to be here. There's no pulverizer here. There's no point in this being here, right? Uh, so I won't put this here, though. I don't think here. No, I guess this is the best spot for it. So we'll just go ahead and stick this in. And because you can customize where the outputs go, that means I can make this an input. Ooh. <laughs> it's already started. Because <laughs> it's got power in it from before. Um, and then that means that I want gravel going out the back which is this is an output is it going to actually send it? no it's not because it's not no it is connected do I have to do this for it to send it? yeah I do okay that's fine um, no mesh in it and no power so it doesn't really matter right now. Um, and then, so that means I'm going to have to get down below and put an output here. 
Um, just patch that for right now. Um, and then, so then down below needs to be yellow. So primary output goes here, secondary output goes here. Um, primary, primary output being gravel goes to there, which then bypasses everything else. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to have to push these pipes back. I'm going to have to mess around with um, nodes, maybe, and make sure that this is just output and just, just goes down the list, or down the pipes um, to their respective locations. But this will be my main source of diamonds. And then, um, yeah, so let's actually go ahead and get this thing cranking a little bit. Um, okay. I'm gonna see this is what why I took the sword off. There's just, just so many things need to be on the hotbar. Sword is not one of them. Actually hammer adds isn't actually one of them anymore either, so I'm just I'm just gonna chuck this thing. I don't I don't care this much about iron, so and just go over there. It'll vanish eventually. Uh, which means I put the transfer nodes back on. Okay, so put this in here. Uh, put the generator here, put coal in it, and that means you should be able to actually see it sieving. It's slowly accumulating power and doing that. Uh, it should definitely be grinding pretty soon. Uh, it needs a speed upgrade. Seriously? It's because it's a viable generator. Uh, anyways, eventually it will start to push push down the pipes. And then we'll end up with stuff filling in here and here. Um, so I'm just going to leave it to its own devices. Uh, we're far enough into this particular episode that uh, we definitely are going to do a loot giveaway. Opening, not giveaway. Nobody gets my loot. My loot. And it is an Invar hammer. That's interesting considering I just <laughs> said I don't need hammers. Yeah, okay. Um, We're just going to put this down. And then maybe never touch it again. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do. Actually, grabbed a diamond hammer. Two diamond hammers. Because, of course, I was going to make myself two auto hammers. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to need the second one at some point. Um, so that will not go to waste. Even if it does, I mean, diamonds are not going to be my issue for much longer. Um, and this is for uh, that... Oops, no, I forgot to make a sieve, didn't I? I'm just going to go ahead and... I clicked on sticks. There's no sticks in there, is there? <laughs> it's going to be really hard to get sticks out of nothingness. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually going to need another one of these, but obviously it will take me a little bit to make it. Um, so now uh, this is going to be a hammer, so this is going to be a sieve. Oh, right, we actually have to put a hammer in there. I knew I was going to need this. There we go. Whoa, why is there stone in there? Why is there stone in there? Oh, 
I don't know why there's stone in there. It's a weird place for stone to be. Okay, well, whatever. Um, obviously, I need a better power generation system uh, in order to actually do this because this is not <laughs> not nearly fast enough. But uh, yeah, um, this is how it's gonna get laid out, and then this will be the last auto sieve. So yeah, that is my constant generation device. And then uh, I'll eventually get all the kinks worked out. So yeah, um, that is how that's gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and open the last. Actually, I guess there's no need for this to be in this corner anymore. So let's just go ahead and make that last one. Eight blocks of iron, don't I? Okay, and then I'll be putting another um, uh, generator here to power these three. Which is, by the way, the reason it's set up in this configuration. I love how it's a unique person uh, skin in each of those. I wish it was my skin, but oh, well. it ain't the way it goes. So that should be set up right. Um, again, I'll be putting notes on each of these to make sure that they are only being direct. Um, uh, it's it's flowing in the correct direction. I might have to kick this wall back a bit to make sure the pipes are all laid out correctly. But that is the general layout. So yeah, that is... <laughs> this is how to generate uh, auto-generate resources in Stoneblock 101. Um, and so yeah. It, the same configuration will work in Sky Factory, by the way. Uh, you just may have to kick the floor out to get the pipes laid out correctly, or kick the wall out to make to get the pipes laid out correctly, depending on uh, whether it causes problems for you or not. I can't remember; it's been too, it's too many years since last time I laid this all out. But I, I know the the configuration of of hammers and sieves is right. So yeah, okay. Well, I was gonna do one last opening, wasn't I? Uh, let's do it on the inscriber and watching the genius in play. So thank you all for watching and <gasps> a chance cube. Oh, I'm opening this. There's actually seven of them. We're opening one of them though. Ah, hi guys. I don't want to look at you right now. If I kill a tree farm, it's not the end of the world. If I kill my, um, the, the th stuff I just spent all that time building, I will die a silent death of pain and anguish. Oh, Lord. I seem to have killed the tree farm. Well, that's why I use chance cubes away from things that are important to you. Uh, it did help me mine, though, right? So that is going to be the end of this particular video. Look, it hurt the Enderman. Oh, no. Didn't touch the lighting, thankfully. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE thread.